Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin the luncheon service, please join me in thanking all our sponsors for their support of the symposium. At today's luncheon, we recognize ASRC Federal, represented by Cass Pansioko, Group President. Booz Allen Hamilton, represented by Lieutenant General Susan Lawrence, U.S. Army Retired Senior Vice President. Cisco Systems, represented by Carl DeGroote, Director of Operations. Copper River Enterprises, represented by Anthony Mizuchi, Senior Program Manager. DDC IT Services, LLC, represented by Pam Plez, Director, Business Development. Edge Hosting, represented by George Cooper IV, Federal Director of Sales. Investicom, represented by Preston Collins, Director of Network Solutions. Fortinet, represented by John Little, Federal Marketing Director. Harris Corporation, represented by Gus Bonsos, Vice President and General Manager, Advanced Solutions Business. Juniper Networks, represented by Bob Dunn, Vice President, Federal Sales. Lidos, represented by Dan Vos, Senior Vice President, Enterprise IT and Cyber Solutions. NES Associates, represented by Andy Gomer, CEO. Netizen Corporation, represented by Max Harris, Principal and CBDO. Nova Corporation, represented by Chris Pershuk. Pike's Way LLC, represented by Cindy Moran, President and Managing Partner. Tapestry Technologies, represented by Jackie Sipes, CEO. Tangible Security, represented by Heather Summers. Titania, represented by Ian Whiting, CEO. And Trowbridge and Trowbridge, represented by Susan Linane, Vice President, Defense and National Security. We'd also like to thank our preferred education providers, American Public University System, American Military University and National Cybersecurity Institute at Excelsior College, as well as our cybersecurity certifying organizations, CompTIA and GIAC. May we have a round of applause for all of our sponsors, as well as our preferred education providers and certifying organizations who help make this event a reality. At this time, please welcome to the stage Lieutenant Colonel David Green, DISA Command Chaplain, to provide an invocation for today's meal. Let's take a minute to uh, pause for prayer. So Lord, as we gather here today, I want to thank you very much for the opportunity to be able to share once again in a meal. As we think about how we connect and protect and do things in defense of our nation, I just want to thank you very much for our partners in industry and for how they represent, Lord God, the work that goes into a relationship like this. Just thank you for this day. Pray these things in your holy name. Amen. At this time, please join me in welcoming to the stage Lieutenant General Bob Wood. Thank you very much. It's good to see you all back. A um, lot of, lot of uh, enthusiasm this morning, uh, certainly from our speakers, uh, our keynote speaker, Dr. Walker, and the, really the technologies that does, he described and the challenges we see that uh, we're having great assistance from DARPA on. But uh, we also saw a great number of solutions out there. Theaters were packed. I'm glad you're finding that value uh, out there with our theaters. Our solution showcase was going well. And we promise to continue the pace. Uh, what we're going to do before, as, as we begin uh, serving lunch, what we'd like to do is honor some important members of our community, uh, service members, as well as industry. To do that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, ask to the stage Vice Admiral Pete Daly, U.S. Navy retired, Chief Executive Officer 
of the U.S. Naval Institute, a key partner of ours in, in West, and Lieutenant General Bob Shea, U.S. Marine Corps retired, President and Chief Executive Officer in FC International. We are going to make several awards of the Copernicus Award. The U.S. Naval Institute and AFSEA International are honored to recognize individuals each year who are selected to receive the Copernicus Award based on their sustained superior performance in a C4I IT-related job. Recipients are selected from the U.S. Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard, including active duty and civilians. The Copernicus Award was established in 1997 by the late Vice Admiral Art Sabrowski to recognize individual contributions to naval warfare in C4I, information systems, and information warfare. Nominees must have made a specific demonstrable contribution to the advancement of C4I, information systems, or information warfare. Contributions can be technical in nature, but may also originate from doctrinal, financial, organizational, or other dimensions of information systems. The contribution should involve exceptional initiative, leadership, and insight within the nominee's area of expertise. All Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, and civil service personnel in the sea services are eligible for nomination. Admiral Daly and General Shea will now present the Copernicus Award to Gunnery Sergeant Randall H. Borland, United States Marine Corps, from headquarters, U.S. Marine Corps. Accompanying Gunnery Sergeant Borland today are his wife, Denise, and Master Gunnery Sergeant Rod Harrington. Thank you very much. Uh, we enjoy this ability to honor these service members and for the work they've done. Uh, and thanks to USNI and Admiral Daly again for being with us to help make this honor especially important. At this time, as we start to serve your entree, uh, I'd like to ask to the stage Tina Jordan, FCA's Vice President of Membership, for another award that we'd like to present. Tina? Thank you, General Wood. Thank you. It is my pleasure to announce today the FCA's 40 Under 40 Awards. I would like to invite Lieutenant General Bob Shea, U.S. Marine Corps retired, President and CEO of FCA International, as well as Mr. Joe Seifer, Executive Vice President at Booz Allen Hamilton and Chairman of the Board of FCA International to come to the stage. Also at this time, I would like to ask all of the 40 under 40 award winners who are in the audience with us today to please come to the left side of the stage, my right, to accept your award. While the 40 under 40 award winners are assembling to the left side of the stage, I will continue. This award is given to 40 individuals, ages 40 and under, for their significant contributions in a technical STEM field by providing innovation, thought leadership and support to their client or organization through the use of information technology. You can find the names of the 40 award winners in the awards section on the FCA website. Today we will recognize the 26 award winners who are able to be here with us today in person. As I call off each of the individuals by names, each award winner will please come up on stage to be greeted by General Shea and Mr. Seifer. Then if you would please come to this side of the stage and remain on the stage for a group photo at the end. And for those in the audience, if you would please hold your applause as the individual names are read, and we will give them a resounding round of applause all together at the end. 
FCA's 40 Under 40 award winners for 2017 are Austin Adams from Alfresco, Brent Allers from Gardner, Eric Anderson, Rigel, Captain Chris Apsey, U.S. Army Cyber School. Clint Austin, Jacobs Technology. Jason Becerra, Rubric. Jonathan Evans, Bart and Associates. Dr. Emily Fenn, MIT Lincoln Laboratory. Alyssa Fiola, United States Air Force Life Cycle Management Center. Dr. Vijay Gadapali, MIT Lincoln Laboratory. Brian Harrell, Navigant Consulting. Master Sergeant Shamar Jones, United States Air Force, DISA Pacific. Greg Kamigawachi, Phoenix Operations Group. Ashley Key, BMK Secure Solutions. Nicholas Little, Forge Global Industries. Jesse McCain, United States Strategic Command. Christopher McGrath, Highlight Technologies. Jesse Nielsen, Synertex LLC. Master Sergeant Brianna Oberg, United States Air Force Lifecycle Management Center. Dan Schulman, Mission Cyber LLC. Tim Sorbera, Diligent Consulting. Rebecca Unetic, Fuse Integration. Kate Von Schletledge, Full Site Solutions. Roy White, Diverse Concepts. Lisa Wiswell from Grimm, and Master Sergeant Carlton Young, United States Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for the future of FC and the 40 under 40. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna bring everybody back to the stage for an actual group photo Later. at the at the end of the luncheon, okay. and that's when Michael will be able to put the shortest in the front, tallest in the back. So for right now, just a quick snap. Okay, Excellent. to all of our award winners, thank you for your hard work and your dedication to your field. We are honored to have you as FCA's 40 Under 40 Award winners for 2017, and we look forward to seeing all of you as you continue to accomplish great things in your future. Again, thank you very much, and let's give them another round of applause. Thank you. Please enjoy your lunch, and Mr. Shimoni's address will begin shortly.